what are the different type of maintenance that we can use in our installation. In this video, we will try to answer this question. Normally, when we talk about the different type of maintenance that we have in our installation, we think in preventive, corrective or predictive. This is the uh, very normal classification of maintenance, but uh, this classification is uh, not so much practical and uh, has no any practic mm, conclusion, any practic um, consequence in the life of the uh, maintenance responsible. This is because the maintenance that one uh, maintenance responsible uh, implement in one installation is never only corrective, only predictive or only uh, preventive then there is another classification that for us could be more uh, useful. First of all, we must take in account that to classify the maintenance, it is necessary to define the uh, criteria uh, to classify uh, the type of maintenance. The, the really, what we are trying to classify is the task of maintenance no really the maintenance in general. Then, depending of the criterion, there is uh, some option or other. According with the speciality of the work, means the, the uh, professional family of the worker that must carry out this activity, we can distinguish between uh, at least uh, mechanical maintenance, electrical maintenance, instrumentation maintenance, uh, technical cleaning or even control maintenance. It exists uh, a second classification uh, of maintenance according with the scope of the work. And according with the scope of the work, we can distinguish between a first level maintenance, that this first level maintenance is the maintenance that normally carried out the operator of the installation, and it's a very basic uh, maintenance. Uh, that uh, include, for example, a visual inspection or include uh, a sample cleaning or include uh, some adjustment. In this second classification, you have uh, another type of maintenance is the second level maintenance. In this maintenance, the responsible to carry out this activity are the maintenance people, the maintenance department, and are more sophisticated uh, activities. For example, the inspection, the detailed inspection of the installation, uh, the some activities related with the diagnostic of the installation. This that we sometimes we say predictive maintenance. This uh, uh, that relate some measurement with the condition of the machine, and uh, include uh, some activities. Uh, more deeper, as for example the uh, substitution of some element or the uh, technical cleanings. And according with this scope of the maintenance, exists uh, a third type of maintenance, the hard time maintenance. This uh, hard time maintenance means that the, all the uh, elements that compose the machine are uh, inspected in a deep way and all the elements uh, or some element that can be replaced uh, are uh, replaced and for example is the moment to put the, the uh, installation or our equipment uh, equipment uh, to uh, zero hours of use is uh, mm, to do a, a complete repair of the equipment complete inspection of the equipment and uh, that put the, the, uh, the equipment uh, in the same condition that when the equipment was new. Then remember that according with this second classification, we have uh, first level maintenance, very basic, second level maintenance, the maintenance that normally do the uh, maintenance department, and uh, hard time maintenance, this maintenance that that made by uh, the people uh, involved in the, the complete uh, inspection of the machine. There is another classification according uh, with 
the moment uh, when the failure occurs. Uh, according with this moment, with the relation with the moment uh, the failure occurs, uh, occur, uh, we can have a corrective maintenance, we can have a systematic maintenance, and we can have a diagnostic maintenance. The corrective maintenance is this maintenance that we do, uh, there is a task that we carry out uh, once the failure has happened. Uh, the second type of maintenance, this that we call preventive maintenance or systematic maintenance, is what we made before the failure happened in order to avoid uh, the failure. And according with this, this classification, there is another third type of maintenance. Is uh, with sometimes we call predictive maintenance, but really in predictive is not a, a good word to define which type of uh, maintenance it, it is. Uh, and I prefer to call uh, diagnostic uh, activities or diagnostic maintenance. In this diagnostic, diagnostic maintenance, what we try to know is which is the condition of the machine. Really, it's not a type of maintenance because uh, we don't do nothing that we can uh, say that this is maintenance. Uh, we need to remember which is the definition of maintenance. Maintenance is the, uh, all the activities that we do uh, to compensate the degradation that one equipment suffer with the time or with the use. Then to do diagnostic activity is really not maintenance because we don't do nothing to compensate the degradation uh, of the equipment. We, we all, only want to know uh, which is this degradation. Then uh, this third type of activity, uh, before we um, uh, say that this activity was predictive maintenance, and uh, now we prefer use the word diagnostic maintenance, is um, uh, I, I, this type of uh, activity that try to know which is the condition uh, of the machine. We have seen in this short video uh, what we can understand as type of maintenance. We have seen three different criteria to define uh, the, the types of activities, the type of task that we have. And we have seen that uh, really we have uh, three different classification with three different criteria according with the specialty of the work, according with the scope of the work, or uh, according with uh, the relation between uh, the failure at the moment that we implement or when we do uh, the activity.